Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Attack on Titan Season 3, Episode 9. I felt like we had a really good post-episode discussion for Episode 8. Yeah. We're trying to figure out some things like when everything took place. Yeah, the timeline of exactly like when the specific events took place. Yeah. So I think we're thinking that Grisha left and we're pretty sure it was to go kill the Rice family. Yeah, so we're just a bit confused now when the breaching of the wall happened like the first time. When did Grisha meet up with Eren and, you know, turn him into a Titan and all that stuff? That I'm unsure about. Yeah, I just don't know. I thought Eren got injected with the Titan fluid from his dad after the wall had been breached. Yeah. So when did that happen? When did they meet up? How did Eren end up out there? I mm. thought because Grisha was outside the walls. It might have been before. Like, he might have known Rod's plan that they were going to breach the wall. Because I am I think that Reiner and Bird and everyone are working with Rod. Okay. So he might have learned of those plans and been like, oh, crap, I have to quickly act now. Mm -hmm. There's a bit to piece together still. Yeah. Um, but we're slowly uncovering more about that exact flashback. The only thing that we're unaware of is the key situation and the basement. But we know the basement is somehow linked to the Titan founding ability that Grisha was telling Eren to use properly or learn to use these powers or something. Yes. I'm still a bit confused about all that. Just mm. a little bit. We're watching episodes 7, 8, and 9 straight after each other. So we haven't had the time to fully digest those episodes, watch them back during editing. But I'm pretty sure we've followed quite well so far. I mean... The basics, anyway. The basics... A lot of the rules which we're gonna end up writing down anyway but we're following quite well I think the show's done a good job at reiterating those key points yes and big up Historia seriously oh like <laughs> I'm loving her she was so good the last two episodes yes incredible all right should we get into it let's get into it we just wanted to say a massive thank you to all of our patreon members and moderators thank you for all your love and support on the channel just a reminder you can get early access to all of these videos over on patreon and the full-length reaction to this episode will be there as well Oh my gosh! What the heck? That's gotta hurt one's face, no? Hell, you know it. Rod's a loose unit. Oh my gosh, getting dirt in his eye. I wonder what he's trying to do. Ruler of the walls. Oh boy. Who does that refer to? <laughs> Literally though. Oh. この城壁都市に反応するほどの。ああ。今から急に住民をウォール死なない避難させ。<笑> Mm. Oh, it's so disgusting. Right. This is like what we saw at the end of season two. It's not working, Aaron. <laughs> I love it how he insults him at the same time. <laughs> he called him tiny. <laughs> That's terrible. 
I don't think he can control that. Mm -mm. You imagine how terrified they'd be? Mikasa's going to have to do a lot of slicing. <laughs> Chosa head and side I know head of cook crystal shikari. When do these people sleep? Great question. Ah, uh, I probably stinks too. On next time I did a good end up there. Oh, to my head and you're to start the chocolate on your corridor. Already not going to plan. Yeah. Ah, uh, come on, Oh my gosh! The fake king was trash. Yeah. At least he gave him food every now and then. Ooh, oh no. He's close. Oh, what's that gonna do? I hope someone manages to get the nape at least. Why does it look the way it does? Mm. I guess it couldn't fully complete because... It was just like a drop or two, yeah? Yeah. It's still odd though that yeah. it's that big. Ah. Oh my gosh! It's doing nothing. They're in a terrible position. Why can't they shoot him from top? <laughs> right. Mm. Owen <laughs> is not impressed. Ah, it's not their fault. This worked well last time. Not against the Titan, though, I don't think. Mm. Oh, it's going to be a <laughs> Come on, Levi. That was hilarious. <laughs> they could do with a good leader. She's mm. challenging Erwin. Yeah. Oh, trapophobia warning. Oh, they do still have time for funerals. That's nice. It really wasn't, though, was it? Or borrowed powers or stolen powers. Yeah. Oh, Can't believe that was Bert. I know. <laughs> We're just talking about Smiley Titan. Mm -hmm. What? Oh. He's lost it. What's going on? Oh. oh, this makes me so sad. Okay, so it has a similar ability with the steam. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've seen this before, haven't we? It's so, I'm so disgusted. Oh, he's looking right at him. Oh my gosh. It looks like a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> it's too big. <gasps> what? Oh, I can't look. The circles, man. It's like Margin Boo. What? Okay. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. No. I'm not about this. I did not expect that. It's the small intestine. It's a massive intestine. Yeah, but like the small intestine. Getting that stretch in. The shredded titan? Let's go. The shredded titan. No, oh, man. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's the faceless titan. <laughs> Okay. 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 Decent plan. Mm -mm. I'm gonna vomit. Nice. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. That was so sick. <laughs> yeah, chuck it on his face. Well, he doesn't have a face. Oh, yeah, great. That's a great plan. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 He better not get eaten, though. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. You just lost it. Wait. Oh, no! Aaron, get back, man. Oh, my gosh. Yes, go, go, go. Dude, this is sick. Yeah, they have to be quick. Oh, it's tiny meat going everywhere. It's gonna be one that's left over. <laughs> really liking Historia so yeah. far this season. Mm -hmm. She's a rebel. What? What's going on? She's saying the memories. You have to dissect that later on. Yeah. Little do they know that's the future queen. Or does she think she's being brainwashed already? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I don't think they're gonna believe her just yet. Has he opened up the underground? He managed to escape. Too many flashbacks. Oh no, he's lost half of his hair. I don't know what all this means. Mm. What are the chances? Oh. They can interrogate him now. Oh, seriously? Does he have a syringe? Yeah. Oh my gosh. He had a contingency plan. 
Oh, oh he's so going to do it as well. He's a sneaky bastard. Yeah. I wonder what syringe that was, though. Was that just any ordinary Beta Titan syringe? I don't know. Did he get it from Eren when he was up there? I don't know, but it's not going to do him much good if he turns into a Titan and then eats Levi. Like... I think it's just for survival at this yeah, point. Yeah, it must be. But there were two lots of flashback scenes in that episode that... We have not seen. Yeah, and that was a little bit hard to sort of understand. Mm-hmm. So we just had like four flashbacks there with Kenny, which we're going to have to look into, I think, deeper. But one of the people he was talking to had just finished transforming into a Titan because it had the it had those things on his face. Oh. That Aaron usually has. So maybe that was, was that um, Race's brother that he was talking with? Yeah, possibly. I'm not sure what the flashbacks were all meant to suggest. Or if it was just him remembering his most important memories because he was dying. Mm. Maybe he was trying to make a decision, come to a decision there based on those flashbacks. I'm not entirely sure. But there was also the flashbacks with Historia after she cut through... Was it her dad's head? Was that his head or his back or something? Or his spine? I forgot which part of him that was. But what do you think that was? I think she was flashing back to her half-siblings. And they were all sort of like, don't worry. Like, we don't have to do it this way. And they were all good. They were all good-hearted and everything, just like her. And she's like, when does the change happen? Yeah, and then it just ended up, they ended up doing it anyway. Is it like a coming of age thing? Like you turn 18 and you get brainwashed? Well, Frida was younger than that. She was 15, I think they said. But she didn't seem like mean and brainwashed. She was lovely to Historia. So I think she's worried that it's going to change on her. Like she's just going to one day be like, yeah, like I need to fulfill this mission. Like okay. the rest of my fam. Okay. That was an interesting flashback scene. I think yeah. even Rod in that moment was like, yeah, we don't need to do this. But his father in that moment was like, like locked him away or something. Yeah. Preparing him for it or mm-hmm. something. We're definitely going to have to rewatch those, um, those flashback moments. Cause I think they're quite important. Yeah. That was pretty epic where Aaron as the shredded Titan ran across the wall and obliterated Rod. Oh, so good. That was a really good plan that Erwin came up with, to be fair. Yeah. Really, really good plan. Well, it was really good because it played out. We would have been like, that was a terrible plan if it didn't. <laughs> well, we were questioning him at the start. Yes. I, I was so disgusted by Rod. <laughs> the Rod Titan. The, oh, my God. The Rod Titan was epic. I was, then... I was waiting for something that confronting, to be fair. I've missed the Titans. I didn't know they'd go that hard. Yeah. Oh, and the circles with the trypophobia or the trypophobia. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Oh, no. He turned into Margin Boo a bit, blowing the steam out the holes. Yeah, I was worried that, you know, the bits that were flying off him, that they were going to all fuse together and create another Titan because I think, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's what they said. Like, if they didn't chop them all, that he was going to resurface. Oh. So are we thinking now that Historia's not going to in fact break the chain and in the end she's probably just going to follow what her other good family members have done anyway kind of what you were saying the coming of age thing Mm. I I, I don't know but she announced herself as the queen to the people there in that moment that was pretty cool yeah I don't know how they're going to respond to that it's just a 15 year old girl or whatever maybe this is like another one of those things where like the role is just being filled by the next person like that guy was saying maybe four episodes ago now. Well, is it because she's got the blood of the race family that she's been brainwashed anyway because of all the people before her mm. in the same bloodline? Yeah, I think because she's already part of that bloodline, I think it's inevitable that she's going to end up doing the same thing as the others. What's it a matter of? Like, what will it take for her not, not to change? Uh, They said it in the last episode, I'm pretty sure, but it's like, it's because of the true king, the first king or whatever, the memories have all been like brainwashed or whatever. Mm. Okay. There's some difficult things to follow. So I think 
rewatching them will be handy. Yeah. And then we'll come back for episode 10. Yeah. Refreshed. Because we watched all of those together in a block of three, so... It's probably going to be a very long introduction. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Episode 10 is going to be super long. We'll have the notebook handy. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And, yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.